connect Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. There you go. Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is the second episode of our Railway Empire Let's Play. Thank you very much for your pretty overwhelming support on the first one. This is definitely what uh, allows me and just motivates me to keep going. All right. So uh, one of the most uh, constructive feedbacks if I got from the first one uh, was actually that I am kind of tending to play this a bit more like free play. And that's pretty much correct because I run out of money very, very fast because I want to build nice double lanes and all that uh, stuff. While this is basically a tutorial, so we need to learn it. So let's, ooh, Shane Giros, let's, um, let's try to be build a bit simpler somehow. <clears throat> And then walk through the mechanics. And uh, these ones, okay, so let's see if we, we covered this one. On Omaha, we have meat is produced, but it's not really, is it freighted anywhere? And uh, let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So that one goes up here, Norfolk. Okay, so we have like, this is like the ideal setup with meat and beer. And you are getting your, okay, cool. So I think it's time for us to move on. We hooked up Cheyenne last time. Let's look at our options. I think this will be our goals today is uh, cattle to Denver and meat to Cheyenne and 50,000 people in my rail network. So, well, that one's coming by all by itself. So cattle to Denver, where the hell do we have Denver? And this uh, basic geography would be a good idea. So this one has meat and uh, we have a ranch out here. That's not a lot of cows, but I think it'll be enough. Oh, that's not cows, that's bushes. All right, so we definitely need to move into Cheyenne to Denver. Yes, what was the other one? That was cattle to Denver and meat to Cheyenne. Okay, so we basically need to that plus connect chain, timber business and the wheat farm, those two. That means <clears throat> we have several options. We can either build two stations here, or we can build a train station that cannot reach, or we can build a large train station. We can then service both. This is pretty much too expensive, but it, I think we'll do the simple one here and then here. Okay, so that's brown, brown preserve and cook chopping. Let's make the line. We cannot bring it in here because we do not have a big enough station. So let's take the station at Cheyenne and make it bigger. See, that's a better investment of our money. Unfortunately, it goes on the wrong side. I think we actually need it bigger, don't we? That's for sure. Oh, Union Pacific Railroad extends network. 10 station currently. Well, that wasn't a new. All right, so with that one, what do we have here? We This is our passenger train. Oh, it would be nice if it could actually get some more, but we'd like this one to increase. I think we need a maintenance station here. We also certainly need for this one. Okay, we're just gonna let this train get out. Let's monitor it. How much money are we making? Oh, 20,000. That's pretty good. I don't know, I think so. And what are you getting? Okay, you're being serviced since there's a service station now, so that's great. And let's see. I can't drag that in yet. I can start making it on the other track. Like this, I think, here. Bye. And... There. I think I did it. I think I made it in time. There. All right. And I guess this one can now no longer reach. Are you stuck? Yes, yeah, just stuck. Oh! I looked away a second, but then it jumped tracks. Huh. That was interesting. Okay, because it's still within the train station, so it basically just ignores it. That's interesting. This doesn't look good. And what about our signals? Did I mess up the signals now? Yes, I did. There. Good. All right. 
Now we can hook up this one. I think I'll just make it single line. No reason to overdo things. And we'll have a new train line from Brown to Cook to Cheyenne. And I wonder if I could control somehow so that I don't fill up. Nah, I'll just, I'll just leave it as it is. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Well done. The city will soon grow. Yep. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Oh, see, Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Oh. If we could get corn but in here, that would help. you certainly won't have any success with so little capital. I might have not planned on this being a loss-making business, but <laughs> I'll help you out this one last time. A loss-making business. What do we get? Do we get some money? Oh, we're in pause mode. What? You said you wanted to help me out? Didn't get any money, did I? Don't think so. Hmm. Maybe we paused and... Got... Ah, look at that! It's cloud monster. Coming in to eat Denver. And, you know, I... Oh, we do have an issue here. Supply... There's no supply tower on this one. All right, so we are going to build from Cheyenne to Denver. I'll pick the inner lane because can I can I go through there? You know what? I think I'll actually do it from the outer lane. Yeah, but I'll move into the inner lane here. I really need two lanes, right? Let's do that. Let's let's actually. Oh, that's too expensive because we do this. That's much more. So I'm gonna have one freight line and one express line. I really did, should have gotten more money out of this. There. That one. And we set up the signals. That one. And that one. And then control, control. Great. Let's put a few. This will be express goods only. That one. This, I believe this is how we make money. Oops, I forgot. I forgot. You're there. Oops, we lost a bit. And then I'll clone the train. No, that's for Denver to Cheyenne. Then let's make another one from Cheyenne to Denver. Passenger the mail and loco. There we go. What? You're waiting for clearance? You gotta be. Oh, right. That one's coming in. Okay, let's. Oh, the signals, the signals. That one should have a signal there. So that when it comes in and if this train is occupied, then it will stop. So here, I think this is... Okay, I was in pause mode. And what is this one? This one's being unloaded. What train is this? This is... Oh, this is our express train. 20,000. This is good. And Cheyenne, then we're waiting for track clearance. Are we doing something wrong here? There's no room. Okay, get out of pause mode. I think this one... Oh, you're just being filled. Great. So as soon as you leave, then I think we are good to go. I hope. There. Uh, I'm using too many... The lane, same lanes for too many things, I think. And as soon as you go out, let's have a look and see. Then this one can come in. All right. Well, that's an empty train. That's really strange. Ah, uh, yes. One more thing. Your company has also a research department Ooh. to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialogue to find out more about it. Uh, let's see. Here research. you will find the advances okay. that can be achieved in the current era. 
Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. Uh, so we have, if we go For back each in advance, time. You require innovation points, which you get automatically each month and which can be increased in various ways. Now take a look around here and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? How about it? So if we look at the different trains here, it's faster, it's more tractive power and it's more suited to freight. So that's a pretty good upgrade for the dragon. It probably cost a lot of money. There, and then we can go to the engine shed and look at our beautiful new train, the Dragon 080. I think that's something about where the, the wheels are. So it has zero front wheels and then eight middle wheels and then two back wheels. I don't know what each wheels do, but I think these eight wheels are connected to the engine. And the spurny wood. Oh, yeah, I can see wood chops here. All right, so, and now there's a really convenient button here that will take all of our money and replace all locomotives. Ouch, yeah, uh, it's, hold on. Let's see, it's faster. Yeah, so if we want to retain, this is also one of the uh, interesting parts is position signal stops. I think I got it, but I think that, are we still waiting here? Express line is a danger because a faster locomotive is available. Yeah. So that's one of the, the key points is that you will not have, uh, you'll lose your speed bonus when there's a faster train because the express line obviously only goes when they have a fast train. Now, I think I want to, what do I want to do here? I'm just, these are just going to be items in. There are four items. That's pretty good. Then, and there are two lanes. So that's pretty good. Let's just build a tower here somewhere. Got it. And some signals on the inside so that they will stop before going to the station. Great. Let's go out. My uh, opponents say I'm lining my own pockets. So you probably These are. These are, of course, hideous lies. Ooh, what's that? Look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. Jobs, jobs, jobs. <laughs> money, money, money. Oh, interest you. You just took all my interest. Ah, if I did, if I hadn't been in the interest, I could have upgraded all the trains. Which well, is too expensive at this moment. It's still running. Okay, there it is. It's too expensive, but I'm gonna do it. I like upgrading all my trains. Yoo that's fast. This one, now there's a bonus for new interest, interest in Wichita, but I see here, I can click it and then I can actually choose the, choose the industry, which is pretty neat. And then I own it and means it makes money for me. It also means that stuff that I own, I can upgrade. Where the hell is Wichita? Uh, Oklahoma City? Is that even anywhere near where we are? Ah, uh, my Midwestern geography is uh, really sh <laughs> showing its limits. All right, so let's have a look at Denver, because what we have, we have corn that's always requested, sugar we don't know, and cattle definitely, because this is a meat industry. There, yeah, private ownership. I could also buy it, maybe. So it doesn't require sugar, and it does not require cotton. So that means at this point, we might as well not hook them up here, but expect that they will be hooked up at some point. Yeah. You're going in to the one furthest away and we kind of lost our money. Damn it. This is for growth. Let's have a look at these trains. Oh, look at that. They're working. That should be a pretty profitable train. And so is this one. We're still not transporting any freight between the cities. That is also noticeable. And you're going to stop until we get here. And that's unloaded. 16,000. That's nice. 2,000 each. And up here, we have to monitor the tasks. We still haven't done anything, but the Network is increasing, so that's good. Do Union Pacific fastest, that's us. Railroad has a faster train, 34 miles per hour. That is impossibly fast. 
Love it. There we go. Let's start with a train on this line. I wrangle with a lot of competitors, but if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? <laughs> You haven't encountered it yet. Be glad Ooh, she takes everyone to the cleaners. So now I've built the train line, but only on paper. I don't have money to put a train on it there. Stewart's estate to Denmark. I can do that now. No, now I lost. Now I got a new train line that doesn't have anything. That one. Add loco. It's actually quite expensive to get. From this one, I get the small ones because then I can set the other one up as well. Oh, and the line. Change it to Stewart's estate. Do not go unless you have a full train. No, pe no point in moving the train around. There we go. That should help with the growth. Excellent. Cheyenne is becoming a major railroad hub, and the credit is all ours. All your mine. That looks good. Pretty cheap. Exactly well, exactly possible to buy. Okay, what was that task we completed? Ah, 30,000 in Cheyenne. Okay, well, that's growing. That's because we're bringing in lots and lots of passengers and mail. Actually, one of the things I want to see, look at the express goods. There's still a lot that's being transported. I don't know if I can even, I'm, I probably can't get to 100%, but this is, this is much better. Sometimes it's like 5% when I do this. What are you needing? You need... Lots of cattle. The cat is brought in by Overland. And I think what we really need is actually not bringing in more cattle, but actually getting somewhere that can consume the cattle. So that we'll build that first. So we'll build an, a rail line here for express goods only. Oh no, not for express goods, but quite the contrary. That's for freight goods. Oh, there we go. That was 16,000 there. And th this is one of the things I really love about this game. Oh, that was not very valuable. Is I don't have... Look, I'm, I haven't been to Omaha for a while because it just it just runs. That's the brilliant part, right? So I could focus on new stuff. Now, the question is, should I double this line so I can have two trains running back and forth? I probably shouldn't, but I really like doing it. It makes me happy when I make these lines. So... This is like uh, Factorio all over. That one? I can't buy it yet. Why can't I not buy it? Oh, there's some error here. Ah, that one. There we go. Now let's build some signals. That one. And... And then we should get a supply tower in the middle. If I can, because now there are four lines. If I can get a supply tower there, that would be really cool. Do we have a supply tower? No, we don't have a supply tower on this one. So that's definitely needed. Come on. Give more money. Let's have a look back at our... North Platte, how are you? Uh, it's not growing because it's only at 44%. Ah, because it's getting bigger, so we need sugar now. We're also not getting any wood or really? Okay, that's interesting. So we really probably should get some meat somehow in there, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. What is that? Oh, that's a random breakdown. All right, looks like we got enough money for the stuff we needed. Supply tower right smack in the middle there. Awesome. And let's build the signals so that we can Now, that means they can go a lot closer. And why are they not going? Oh, they are going. Okay, cool. Now, let's see if we can get a train. This will be a freight train from... No, nope, we're going to start it in Denver. There. That will be freight only. And that needs a good freight train. Boom. There we go. We got some research. 100. What is this? Increase the number of passengers in every city where your company has a station. Oh, yes, please. This one I need three more, and I have three. And what is this? This is standardized component reduces purchase price of new locomotives. <gasps> oh, I need that. But then I have to wait three weeks. But I also want this one. I'll take this one. 
Look at the meat. And it's meat from Denver to Cheyenne. So that's actually just two full loads. And now I built a double line and I have one train. So I must get one more train. Otherwise it would be totally wasted. Is that the one? Oh, don't go into signal mode. Get the train. Waiting for Daniel chain. Okay. So that's another 16,000 here. Let's get another train line and that one. Yep. Set a rail line going from here to there. Only freight. Oh, I made a mistake. Denver. I think it's track one. Let's see. Track one, track two. Yes, so you must be on track one. And Cheyenne must be on train one. Yes, thank you. Add a local. That one. And that one is wrong, very wrong. And let's make it. This is our freight only. It has to be on one and one. Yes. And then we have the other ones. No, 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 no. That, that, oh, I added waypoints. That's definitely not what I wanted. There we go. And this one. There we go. This has to be on track two. Which also makes this track two. Because that's the lower tracks. Yes. And then there we go. Now I'm missing one train. Oh no, I didn't do that. Uh, this card changes. There we go. <clears throat> so let's chain to Denver. That one. Oh, that must be this one then. Track 2 only. I know it probably doesn't need it. Okay, there we go. Now we have the freight on the two top lines and we have the... Meat, yeah. Okay, so it's traveling meat here. Do we get anything? Oh, 14. All right, so it's almost done. And all right, so we now have our express lines separated from our freight lines. Excellent. Now let's build this one that we absolutely need set up from here to here. And that is a good little hauler here. And let's also just make sure That it does not leave unless it has a full. Cheyenne will flourish thanks to you. And for each mile of track that we lay, we receive 10 square miles of land. Which is the insane. The politicians have no idea of the value of the assets they're giving away. But You're right. That stays between us. 10 square miles of land. That is insane. That is insane. Of course, if you think the country is infinite or pretty much then you might as well just give it away. All right, see, this one would be really good to... What are you... Supply? It's meeting supplies, yeah. But it's not getting any wood and not getting any meat. So if I could get meat in there, which goes from here, that would include getting that station bigger. Connect Omaha to Rock Springs. Transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. Could not be done now. I think that could be done now. Because the other one is just working. Let's have a look at the track here. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be more expensive. What if I do this? I. Ah, they're always coming in on the wrong side. Well, to be expected. Why? Why is that not a thing? Okay. Make that track. And then demolish that track. And here. Demolish that track. Yes. And then from here. We merge it in that one. Good. And then we redo the signaling. 
I think that worked, yes. And I'm then going to take this one. Here. Yep. And now I can take this out. No! It's being used, damn it. Alright, it's heading in. I thought it would stop there, then it would be fine. New station, 14 stations added. Nice. Are they turned the right way? No, they're not. That's not turned the right way. And you need to go in, and as soon as you're... Okay, can't do the bulldozer tool, it will stop. Now I think I can. There we go. Cool. And that means we can now take from here and build the track over to... Oh, Grand Junction. To Rock Springs. Nice. Let's have a look. It's pretty damn expensive. So let's see what we can do. I make a tight turn here. That's there is a zero percent incline. Then what if we go around here? Now it's we're talking. There we go. Do you know that many people call the vast stretch of land between the Mississippi and California the Great that American one? Desert? Those fools. Once oh, my yeah. railroad has opened everything up, the value of these lands will go through the roof. Yep, I can only now imagine. Now you manage to cross the Great Plains. A masterpiece. Now I'm going to double this track because I need to travel... How many passengers? Oh, 100 passengers. Oh, never mind. I thought it was like a lot of passengers. If it's 100, then... Only freight and passengers to Rock Springs. Let's get a good train on that one. What? For the clearance? Oh yeah, yeah that one is, is still getting in there. How much did we make? I don't know. Oh, what do you got? Why? Chain to Denver? You have nothing to bring there? Hmm. No beer? And what about you? Uh, that's not good. That's really not good. Why do we only have this small? All right, let's make a side turn somewhere in here. From here and make it a parallel and then go like that. It doesn't have to be like gigantic, but it can just be like this. There. And let's also build the supply tower here in the middle. Cool. There we go. That means we can actually start a second train. Let's do that. That's another train from here to here, but only freight and a loco. Cool. Now let's see if it works. Oh, rock picture chain. Look at that. That's a profitable one. This one was really strange. That's not making any money. All right, let's see. You're entering with your one, one person and one male. Hmm, that's not a lot. Maybe time for fueling. We can look at the fueling here. Sand, oil, and water. No need. And the other train, which is going to be way more profitable, is coming other way. 32 miles. And look at them just smoothly crossing each other. Well done. The citizens of Denver are impressed by the railroad. There we go. That's great. And then we need 100 passengers. I don't know. This is something I don't really get. I don't know how many passengers are in for each box. I would imagine there's something fixed. This would be maybe it would be 100 passengers for each case here. Yes. All right, so we did deliver something. How many? 25. All right, cool. Now here we can buy something. And what if we buy a city building? These two, four extra innovation points for university museum. Increases satisfaction of citizens fulfillment of demand by 10%. Okay. Don't have enough cash. Okay, so that one is 
And what about attractions? Increases the number of people traveling to the city. So you can just buy one of these, right? No. Nope. Why? Valid construction site. Okay, there are no valid construction sites, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I could build a meat packing industry or something. Um, there we go. Let's see. Uh, that's the train we just had. Yeah, let's have a look at how much money this one's making. And why are you waiting? Uh, you're waiting for that one. Let's see. Interest you. Ouch. Signaling? Yeah, we've got that. We've got that signal. Because that should enable that. No. 24? What is that? That's a good Denver train. Change to Denver. This is a full train. We're making a lot of money from these passenger trains. It's one of the things that I kind of missed in the beginning. That's 12,000. And. There are 29,000. That is pretty awesome. Only two passengers. Damn, that's not, we don't have a lot of passenger demand in Cheyenne or in Rock Springs factory. And you're waiting here. What are you bringing back? There's a lot of people who don't want to be in Rock Springs and want to go back east. Can you blame them? And uh, let's see, do we have any? No, they expired. You have what you need. No, you don't. You are missing wood and meat. So if I really want to be somewhat advanced, I would expand this station. And Norfolk grows. Let's go have a look at Norfolk. Oh, look at that. When it grows, sometimes, that enables me to buy the industry. So I, I can decide what kind of industry they get. And that could be a weaving. If we have some other things nearby. Nope. It could be dairy because we have... There, dairy farms, because I have milk. So that... That's true. Era must be built. Uh, valid... What? Okay, so I can't do that. I can only build, like, tailors. And... Do I have cotton anywhere? You're not really getting a good industry here. That one. Yeah, we could do that. I suppose. And then we build it. I have to build it as close to the station as possible. We go up. No fork grows. Okay, so now we have weaving thing. And that means I sh could, should, and would like to go. Oh, look at that. All of the stuff here has to be kind of moved. That one. There. Ah, uh, that's too close. That always happens. Is there any way to get around us? No. That works, but this doesn't work. This card. It's not working. That thing? Why are we doing this again? And that one? Oh, I shouldn't go out here. I should go like this. Yes. And then there are some signals that got messed up. There. Does it work? What does it say? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Now we can take that one. Yes, finally. And let's get it all the way over to here. Because that means we can now bulldoze that thing. And that should be possible for me to get up there. Awesome. That took a while to figure that out. 
don't have enough money for it, but let's uh, let's give it a shot anyway. There, I'm pretty sure it should it should be possible, right? Yep. Just aligning it here, so parallel tracks. That's a beautiful bridge here, but we could make a shorter bridge. What about if? Would that be better? It's not pretty. That was even cheaper. Cool, we'll do that. And that one is going in. Okay, cool. So when we have 100,000, we'll do that. Let's look at the innovation. Standardized component is repurchase of new price. Caboose. Allow the use of caboose on trains and thereby increase the bonus for all employees. We don't have any employees yet. We're going to get this. I'm waiting for 300 innovation points. Oh, Norfolk could also go up to that one. That's probably cheaper, is it? Don't know. And... Now I have built the other one. Too much expense. There. Build. Get a train. Set up from here. Only one full. And go into that one. Should be fine. And we actually have money for the time I created. There we go. So that should make... We do not have a freight line as far as I can tell. Going to... Nope, we don't. No freight line to North Platte. That's a bit of a shame. How's our... 71. Okay. Where, what do we have? We have a... That's a lot of people going back east. Where's the other train? Oh, there it is. That's two? That could be... If there's 25 in each box, in each suitcase, then it will be enough. So I don't know. Random breakdown, that's cool. Cool was well, not cool, but it is what it is. Okay, let's have a look at demands. It's not getting any wheat because everyone needs wheat. No grain. It's not called wheat, it's called grain. Cattle. Corn is fine. Cattle? Why is the cattle not fine? It seems strange. Oh, that's why. Now if we look at the city. Oh, there we go. Eight was delivered. Cool. And let's monitor the train up here. This little train. And now there's a little neat little function. I can zoom to it or I can ride along. Which is insanely... And that may be the last one. Yay, we can upgrade trains cheaper. Oh, hold on, what are the other ones? Reduce the maintenance requirement for locomotives. Okay. And increase the transportation fee per freight car. And the transportation fee means that... Oh, hold on. This is irrelevant because we are so far in. But that's a good one to get early. And let's see if we make it here. That would be awesome. Progress is enormous. Yes. The far west is no longer. Oops. Sorry, cut him off. In spite of all the challenges, the Union Pacific Railroad managed to cross the endless expanses of the Great Plains and conquer the merciless slopes of the Rocky Mountains. That was pretty good. That the was Central Salt Pacific Lake Railroad it's next. approached from the west. But the winter of 1868 brought all work to a standstill. The two lines lay just a few hundred miles across from each other, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. The dream of the first transcontinental railroad seemed to be within touching distance, but was buried by house-high masses of snow and blown away by icy snowstorms. A dream that had begun almost four decades before. That's a really smooth way to transition back. How do we do? Chief Executive Officer. Time rating. We, if we could have done it a bit faster, we could maybe have got a perfect rating. rating. Chief Executive Officer is pretty good. So...
Uh, that's the end of the first chapter. Now we'll proceed into the second chapter. I don't even want to click the next because I don't know if uh, if we go straight in or what happens. However, I hope that you enjoyed it. This makes very good sense for us to wrap up this episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll be starting on chapter two, which will go back in time to 1830 and have like this small grasshopper that I can remember from from the old railroad railroad tycoon game that was like a million billion years ago so hope you enjoyed it if you do you know what to do it is youtube so like share subscribe all of that good stuff and leave a comment about something i did wrong something i did right i hope i did not go totally overboard on this one in terms of uh, of building train infrastructure uh, but uh, it is a train game so gotta build some trains right so thank you very much i will see you in the next episode cheers